guys, it's John, and just wanted to come on here and give you a quick word of encouragement. As I've been praying this year, God's really been putting a word on my heart, and that word has been forward. Um, and forward is one of the most important words in our English language here. And unfortunately right now, the meaning of forward is broken in our society. We need to return back to what's the Christ-like way of forward. According to Merriam-Webster Dictionary, forward is moving, tending, or leaning towards a position from. That's society's view of forward. Forward as a verb is a choice. You can't move forward without an initial choice. Typically, there's a momentum that is necessary to maintain a consistent state of forward. So you may think, so John, what does this have to do with our faith? It has everything to do with our faith. First, who's the one who motivates to want to go forward? Jesus is the reason to move forward. His love and his call for our lives is the reason for forward. Now, Philippians here, let's take a look here to see a verse that goes with this. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead, I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me, heavenward in Christ Jesus. And that's out of Philippians 3, verses 13 and 14. So now, what happens when a block to our forward happens? And it's definitely going to happen, it will. When those blocks happen, we have two choices. We either hyper-focus on those blocks or sins in our lives, or we repent and ask for forgiveness and get that momentum started again with Jesus. As we begin this year, we're at a natural starting point as we're early in this year. I want to pose this question to you. Are you looking back or are you starting forward with Jesus?